Hey guys, uh, this is Nuno and welcome to uh, another video uh, for another solo mission that I believe it's probably one of the best solo missions out there. Um, it's not that easy to do solo, it's possible, but it's not easy. And uh, it will take probably more than 15 minutes to do it in an easy way, not that fast. But um, anyways guys, let's start this mission and um, let me just go, I, I like to go first to, um, let me go first to my garage, select the model, Lamar is calling me, I don't wanna, I don't wanna enter it yet, I will enter it later on. Anyways guys, I'm going to select the car that I believe is going to help a lot. Not just I believe, I'm sure it's going to help a lot, which is the Karuma. Karuma is an amazing car for most of the missions when it involves shooting and running away. And this car is just amazing. So, anyways. Let me just get outside here. The weather is good, everything is good. Let me just turn off the, the radio. I don't want radio anyways. And uh, let's talk about the mission. The mission is, I believe everyone knows this mission, or most people know this mission. Uh, it's a very interesting mission, I have to say the truth. Um, it's not easy, like I said, it's not easy, but it's not the hardest one either way. So it's called the Los Santos Connection. You're gonna get a lot of money from it. Um, I believe you'll get more than 20k out of this mission and that's a lot of money. Uh, and you'll get around 4k of RP which is not bad either way. But it will take probably a little bit more than the, the 15 minutes. Um, probably. Um, let's see if I'm going to set. I'm going to start this mission, and um, I will set the timer for 15 minutes. Anyway, don't forget always set your difficulty to hard because if you don't set it to hard, then it's it's not worth it. Um, you don't. You, you will not get as much money as if you would uh, by by playing it on on uh, on easy mode or normal mode. Anyways, let's launch it and let's see how long I'm going to take. I believe 15 minutes is the best. Anyways, the mission is divided in three sections. The first one is to ambush the drug dealer. And you have to be careful in here. But the Karuma makes it extremely easy, the mission. So I'm going to drive there. It's two kilometers away, so... I'm gonna force forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Okay, so we arrived to the place where uh, the drug dealer, the drug dealer is being held. I'm going to use the AP pistol once again. And the first one I'm gonna kill is this guy. Now we need to be a little bit careful. Don't destroy the SUV. That's important. Don't destroy the SUV. You wanna play with me? Because the SUV is important for the mission. The mission will fail if you if you guys do um, destroy the SUV. Okay, so I Anyways, um, now I normally what I do is I collect. Um, let me just take, take off the driver from this SUV. Normally I collect all the the cash and stuff that they leave it behind. Let me get out. Another SUV is coming. By the way, as you guys can see, the mini map is showing a, a red dot. So let me just go here. Now I just put this other guy. In here. So, all I do is collect. Uh, 
collect the cash. And these guys. There's this crate, you guys can destroy the crate. And there's like uh, 1k in here. Which is not bad at all. It's not bad at all. I'm gonna take off the driver too. Okay, I'm get out of this SUV. And I'll take all the cash. I accept all the cash that's possible. So, and just this first part, I'm making. So it's only 10k, 10, 10, 10 bucks. But it's still good. So, the next part of this mission is, if I'm not mistaken, you have to get into the SUV. But I'm not gonna drive it because it's not a very safe car. What this does is, it tells me about the place which is the port, the port, the port in the rural heights. Anyways, now I have to go there. There's another SUV. As you guys can see, there's another SUV coming. So now I have to kill these guys. Not that hard. Headshots are extremely useful. That's why I like to play with, uh, with my computer. Keyboard sometimes allows us to do this. Anyways, now let's go to the deep part. Deep part. So I'm just gonna fast forward the the way I'm going. Anyways, guys, I'm I'm here. I mean, I'm nearby the place where um, where the, there's gonna be the next section of the mission. I had a small crash over there, but nothing bad. So I'm, as you guys can see, I'm gonna just show in the map. I'm coming below the dot, not above. This area makes it a little bit easier to do to to play around with this um, with this car, basically. Guys, gonna start shooting, but I don't care. I have an amazing car. I love this car because of that, because it allows me to not be afraid of these guys that are going to shoot. Headshots are important sometimes when you get when you can get. So I killed those three. There's another one in here. Done. Killed. Now, see the the, the red dots. As you can see, I, I can see the red dots. I know where they are. There's another guy here. Done. Headshot. There's another guy in here in the stairs. I have to be there. Anyways, let's see if I can. Um... Now there's a lot of people coming. Now this is this is the um, kind of hardest way. Not to kill that guy. There are guys shooting me. Get out of there now! Come on, bitch! This one is going to explode. I don't think there's anything over there. It could be. This one is. There's like cars coming all over the place, but you're safe. If you are, keep yourself inside the um, keep yourself inside this um, inside the car. Nothing, uh, not, nothing bad is going to happen. Okay, or it's not supposed to. Let me just get outside the car. Grab some cash and, and ammo. Oh, someone is shooting at me. I don't know where. Bro. I don't know where. 
So there's gonna be a lot of people trying to shoot at you. Just try to kill them. There you go. I believe there's no one else in here. In here. Let's see if I can get. I always want to have grab as much cash as someone from here. I have many ammo cards. So try to protect yourself always from the car. I'm always gonna try to kill you. There's no more guys coming from here. So let's go grab cash. There's another guy here somewhere over there. But not a big problem. Okay. The mission is already a long, long time done. And I'm, I'm taking it in an easy way, you know, like the easy way. I'm not, I'm not really worried about how long it's gonna take to finish the mission and the mission. Okay, there's this guy in here. Headshot. And there's this guy in here. If I can kill him without even taking much by doing this. There's this guy over here, which needs to be headshot. And it's done. I think there's no one else now. So, I know now this is clear. No cars, no enemies, so I can see there's no enemies coming. So, I'm pretty much sure it's clear. You guys can see I'm running away like crazy around here to grab some cash. But that's basically it. Just go here. There's a guy around here, right? That I killed. Anyways, you guys can see there's another box in here. Destroy it, and you guys will get another 1k. That's already 2 point. From killing the guys and doing this mission at the moment, I already have 2.4k. Now let's hack the terminal. It's not hard, and the hardest part is probably the first one, which is the hack connect, which you have to find the 52, well, something around here, 1352, and I have to see if I find it, it's not easy, oh, there's a, here it is, 1352. With that done, you have to brute force it, which is not complicated, you just have to set the timer, but do it, don't try to do it that fast, do it when you're confident, because no one's gonna shoot you, you killed already everyone out there. There, done, and now you're gonna download the stuff done there's nothing else you can do in here so basically all you have to do now is go to the hangar and um, well finish the mission over there now, there's a lot of things to do there which I'm gonna try to explain but anyways guys if you guys are setting up uh, having don't have in mind that I've been fast forwarding some of the stuff which I'm going to fast forward now these four almost five kilometers of driving 
Um, it's been already 15 minutes, so this mission is gonna take more than 15 minutes. So that's cool. Yes. Or maybe not. Because when it comes to time speaking, this is one of the ways of doing it. There's other ways if you have uh, access to a, uh, I think it's a laser helicopter. First, if you have access to a helicopter, you guys have to, it will be a lot faster. Anyways, I'm just going to... The 15 minutes is gone and I need to kill these guys in here and everything else is gonna be... think there's any more cars in here. Let's go to the airport and fast forward this 5.10.5.10 Okay guys, see you soon. Okay, so I'm so I'm back and I'm sorry for such a bad driving skills I have. But anyways. I'm in the anger. Now uh the first thing you wanna do in here is and to make your life easier is come here. Near this uh, airplane, and we just want to blow it up. Okay, so I'm gonna use a sticky bomb. Pour one into the uh, reactors. Uh, so I'm gonna use three sticky bombs. Not needed the three of them, but anyways, it's gonna make a nice show. Go back a little bit and let's go. There you go. Because eventually, after doing some of the stuff in the anger, the airplane is going to be airborne and it's going to be a lot harder to finish the mission. Anyways, keep yourself in the car now because you're going to have to kill a lot of people and the car is safer. It's a lot safer. I'm not going to say it's easier, it's not going to be easier, but it's a lot safer. Anyways, and this is the place where you want to go now. We have to kill a lot of people, it's gonna take time. If you have a Karuma, you're inside your Karuma, don't worry, take all the time you want. The guys are still gonna be... They're, gonna, they're not gonna be able to kill you. The car is strong and it's, it's, it's a good car, it's a very good car. And you guys can basically kill as many guys as you want.
Okay. That shot. I know there's someone else in here. There are guys up here. Which are very hard to kill. But if you have time, which you do. See, some of these guys are easy to kill. They're oh just over there, you know? Boom. Headshot. And now there's this guy over here. You just have to wait a little bit. When he shows up, his face. The red dot's gonna be. The, the dot's gonna be red, and you're gonna be able to kill him. I know there's two guys over there. It was just. There's other options, of course. Oh, someone else is coming over right here. There he goes. Bad. Another guy over here. I'm not in a hurry, as you guys can see. Yeah guys, you have to be careful about this stuff, the supplies, there's a lot of cash in here, good cash. guys are killed. Oh, I have to steal the coke. But before that, all I'm gonna do now, because there's no one else in here, is gonna go grab uh, some of the stuff over here from the guys that I killed and that they left behind. Cash me. Cash from here. Okay, I got all the cash. Oh, there's some more cash in here. There's some cash in here. Left. Anyways, the next thing you want to do is probably you want to use a uh, Mines on the airplanes. This car's too. Yeah, I'm spending a lot of proximity mines. Okay. Let me just grab my car. I'm not gonna steal yet the, the, uh, the, the coke, I'm just doing stuff my own way. I'm going to explode all of those. There's still one I need to explode, which is this one. Let me see what kind of weapon can I use. No, 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 no. Okay, we got inside this car. I'm going to explode this. Okay. Because it's it's part of the mission, you need to explode this um, Cars. I did spend a little bit more on proximity mines, they're expensive. But, anyways, that's okay. Let me just go up. There's no one in here anymore. Kill the guys. Let me just go grab some. And let's take this. 
No. Now it comes the guy, the bad guys. More bad guys are going to come. One of them is in the helicopter. So basically, the mission is done. Now all you have to do is is um, run away. There's like an helicopter coming away. Just wait a little bit. If you want to. You know you don't need to, but it makes your life a lot easier if you if you play around and wait a little bit. Now the helicopter is a little bit dangerous because it's going to going to try to kill you. Oh, there he goes. And like bombs, but... Oh, no way. This guy just got wasted. Oh, man. Anyways. You do play a little bit and you get killed. Let me just do a call for my... But the mission is done, basically. MMI. Luckily, we I didn't... The unexpected. Luckily, okay. I didn't... Um... I didn't... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit upset now, but... It... Luckily, I didn't die, I didn't finish, I didn't lose my mission. Because I had one one life left, and and I killed what was left. I destroyed the helicopter. Well, I didn't destroy it. I killed the driver, and <laughs> the helicopter destroyed my car. I was kind of stupid. I didn't I didn't uh, run away. Anyways, now the fastest way to finish this is by grabbing the buzzer helicopter. I think this is called the buzzer. Yeah, the, the buzzer. And fly over to Madrazos. And that's it. I'm gonna fast forward it. Hope you guys. I hope to see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so. I'm just gonna land this helicopter here. Just landed it. Everything went fine, and I'm just gonna finish the mission. Okay, guys? Perfect! Perfect! A pleasure doing business with you! So yeah guys, um, it took me more than 15 minutes, I got more than 20, um, 20k of cash, so it was around 28k, and 4k of uh, reputation, so yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, um, it was fun to do, I did die one time, because I was a bit stupid playing around with my car. Uh, the, the Karuma is uh, very good uh, when it comes to um, protecting yourselves from bullets but not from uh, uh, explosives uh, as you guys could see and uh, well that's it hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like uh, comment or subscribe for more videos I still have a few more missions that I believe are very good for solo players and to make a lot of cash. So, see you guys soon.